the conditioned relaxation one, uh, two and three. Okay. Okay. Uh, you've got to do this every day for about 10 minutes. Usually I want you to do this when you're not, like you're chilling out. So yes. this could be at night for now, you know, when everyone's kind of settling in. Really good. No problem. Okay. So it's your conditioned relaxation. Okay. All right. So number one is your... Is, is the one we've been doing, posting and all that. It's you're working on your restraint resilience, right? You stand on it and they go, yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay, so number one you've done, you're going to just do it now in public. Okay, so that's like posting, um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, number two is the collar hold. And it's usually the collar because you can restrain them. It's a bit more restrict restrictive. So you sit down on the floor, you, grab, you hold this collar and you hold it. Okay. okay. And you'll see some dogs will go, ah, some dogs crocodile roll. You get some really good drama queens. Yeah. Until Just they go them. chill. Okay. And they go, they give up. Once they give up, right, you go to number three, which is massage. <laughs> okay. Or the documented talks about a rub down. So once my dog starts to chill, and you'll see this happen, you, you go, you start with just a nice, slow with the first stroke once you touch them they go whoa because they're like play not all touch means play okay so the next one is getting them used to just you touching it's nice and calm mm -hmm. if they wiggle yeah wiggle do your thing nice and chill okay so every time they get energetic you keep the whole collar. you hold the collar to take the massage away you just stop with the massage yep. Okay. And the rub down has certain steps. So we have just nice slow down the back. Start doing a little bit on the hips. The dog naturally sits. I can't help it. Right? Oh, oh, that's good. And then when they sit, go right back up. You do the jaw, head. You do the side. They go plump. Yeah. <laughs> and they go, oh, good boy. And you do a tummy rub. Yeah. And these are all nice and slow movements. You figure out what kind of pressure does the dog like. Where's their favorite spots? Okay, that sounds nice. So and that's do, that, do that every night when he's calm, after he's, you know, not when he's ready for play, but when he's ready for sleep. You can do, you can always do this after you've done play. So once the dog's like, yeah, you'll see it, they'll go, oh, I, think I've, I think I've had enough now. And you go finish, All right? Put the toy away. And then you go, all right, leash is still on him. Go sit on the leash. Grab the collar. I hold him. He's going to be like, at first he'll be like, oh, I ain't playing. Yeah, whatever. He goes calm. Oh, that's a loud cat. That's so cute. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Easy peasy. Yes. That's, that's all I need you to do this week. So lots of more hands on for you. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. No, Next time I want to kind of see more, or if you want to send me some videos. Send some videos. Yeah. Because then I can see it. Yep. No, that sounds good. Okay. No, I feel really good. I think before I was a bit, a bit lost in it all. The new, having a new dog and all of that and um, the house training is really anxiety provoking for me because I'm someone who doesn't like that's more important though okay it is more important all right I, I I will tell you a little secret that everything I've been teaching you like the the do doggy dictionaries and things I don't do for the first two weeks at all okay I do a lot of posting and things like the condition relaxation I do and I do okay. teach them inside outside toilet and that what you were doing you were doing perfect no okay. problem Windows, yes, because I capture it. Well, then when they go into these zoomy phases, I'm like, oh, are you ready? And then I play. Okay. When they're hungry, you know, like, oh, you're hungry. So Throw you it in the kind of go with their natural... I capture it. Okay. The dog is presenting it and I'm putting a word on it. Okay. Okay, for at least, this is with any dog I have, a puppy, a rescue dog. Really, I don't do anything. For, and I get to know them. What, what do you call that again? The quadrants? What are they called? The quadrants or the windows of opportunity? Windows of opportunity, that's what I'm Quadrants are the quadrants of conditioning. Oh, there's that, okay. It's operant conditioning. You might have heard that term in your therapy. Yeah, of course, yeah. It is, there are only four types of consequences. They either get good stuff or they get bad stuff. Yeah. You take away good stuff or you take away bad stuff. That's it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There's no, you can combo, combo it, yeah. but that's, that's all there is.